Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. We're back with the Rangers Roundup, ladies and gentlemen. We have three topics that um, you guys want us to speak about for the last couple of days. Some of the news has recently just dropped and obviously we have a brand new signing at the club. You know, Admin 2 is hitting us hard. You know, we're only spending 625k these days. So yeah, Admin 2. I'm an Admin 2 survivor. I stole that from someone's Twitter. I apologise if you watch it. If no, I'm going to play it like I made it up. And as you can tell by that delicious like like beat title, we have other things to talk about today. But let's let's focus on the positive first. And let's start off with the Greg Docker, the man with a million dollar freaking smile. Came over from Hamilton and Aki's. Now, Snags has been talking about him for 68 weeks. If you watch the SPFL radar way back when we were doing that series, that was a player that he spoke about and someone he would like to see at Rangers. Now it's happened. So I just can't Snags is sitting there somewhere where I posted him at Rail Loss. What? Did him at Rail Loss. <laughs> Play again? Did him at Rail Loss. And you're subscribed to this guy. <laughs> Um, just, just staring at it with a big cigar and he's been really, really happy with this situation. And so am I, if I'm honest with you. He's going to add a lot to the team, not only on the field, but I think off the field where he's got a lot of passion. I think that breeds. We've got all these Rangers men in there that knows what it means to be for Rangers. Uh, I think that's going to spread an appetite and hunger to play and that's only going to influence on and off the park and get us better and better. He's young. He's got potential. It's just so exciting that we're signing these types of people because if you go back to last year, we were signing like people like Toral on loan. Like, Hyman was okay for a couple of games, but in the physical side, I'm really kind of caught him out, and I think he got injured. Um, Kenny started off really bright and faded away. Toral just... What is going on with it? Focus, camera, eh? Focus with your content, Craig. All right. Um, even go back to signing players like Nico, who's over the hill. Um, we're actually signing young boys now who's doing it in our league, which is exciting. We maybe missed out on McLean, blah, 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 but I've got Docker right now, and he's a Rangers man. I'm absolutely loving all the posts that I see on Twitter with his family and everything like that. Shout out to the Docker family, from me to thee. Um, I think it's quite funny now. We've got Docker, we've got Declan, and we've got Sean. That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, if you put all their names together, that would just. Imagine that. Declan Sean Doherty. <laughs> oh, I enjoy that. Uh, that's good humour. So, so just a joke, lads. Okay. Joking on that inside, it's a massive thumbs up for me. I don't know how you are feeling. I'm sure you guys will react down below because you've been killing it lately. And it just makes this channel so fun. You know, me and Baz and everyone was talking saying, it's so good to see such positivity around the channel. The comments lately have been absolutely killing it. Um, well, some of your comments. Mm. Some of them's a bit poor taste, but uh, we're having some fun, so yeah, continue to do that. Let me know how you feel about the Docker deal. It's a massive, massive thumbs up. I couldn't give it more of a thumbs up. I just can't wait to see him play, because he'll just look so happy and delighted to be being a Rangers player. I just hope that he continues and gets better and better. He brings what he does for Hamilton in the Rangers shirt and just raises his profile, gets better and better and better. And what a player he could eventually turn into. This could be a star in the making, lads, genuinely. Um, so shout out to Docker. But let's see what you guys are thinking on Twitter down below. We'll use type in your comments. I will get the poll loaded up. And yeah, we'll go from there. Smash the like button away there, boys, eh? What's that? That only takes a second. <coughs> right, so I said, do you think Dockery will be a success at Rangers? It's got 471 votes, so let's smash the past that and the likes. That's some bad as Twitter. You see, uh, it's got 17 minutes remaining right enough, but I says, do you think Dockery will be a success at Rangers? 94% um, voted yes and 6% voted no. That's an interesting, I was expecting a very, very high number. 94% is still pretty high. I don't know if that's maybe the other side is voting that, but uh, Dockery, I, I'm 99.9.9.4% I'm, I'm sure that he's going to be an absolute star for the team, and good luck to him. So that's what Twitter's opinion. Make sure to be fine. I'm your first story of today. I'll give you another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, Unos. Let's move on to the second story of today and it's going to be something I've touched on on Twitter but I haven't in a video just yet and that's going to be the Danny Wilson situation on e on e on. Now you might have missed yesterday's player ratings with me and Snags talking about the Aberdeen because we had a lot of problem processing it. I don't know if I'll be able to show you but it's still not even live for most people. Yeah it's still not sent a notification and it was done yesterday. It's an absolute joke by YouTube and um, we're getting hacked. It's probably semi. Um, but yeah you'll be able to see, let's see. Look this, this is me. Look, it's processing video, it won't let me edit it, it won't let me promote it, anything like that. So if you missed that video, I'm just going to address the Danny Wilson situation and explain what's happened. Now he's been dropped from the 18, now it's been heavily, heavy. focus camera. This is your fault, Andy, honestly, I'm sick of you, alright? You've always got wee back chat sitting in there in the mirror, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're back, we're back, okay. Um, so the reason he was kind of dropped, it's been heavily rumoured that he was offered a contract with Rangers. Everyone knows there's been contract no negotiation going on for a long time, but they've absolutely stalled, they're dead, they're buried. 
Now, it was believed that Rangers had offered a two to three year deal with um, with a, a decent pay rise, but it wasn't quite to either Danny Wilson or his agent itself. It wasn't good enough. Now, Danny Wilson wanted a bit more money. Now, that's a whole different conversation right away in the comments. I didn't want to just call him a money merchant because I like to do that because it annoys Simi on Twitter. Um, but I think he's, maybe his performances warranted that, and I have fired a poll up. I've not checked it, so I'm interested to see. But I want to ask you guys that's watching just now, one, Danny Wilson, right? He's rejected the deal and he wants more money. Do you think his performances this season, the way he's came in and sort of been our best centre-back, do you think he deserves more money? When you see people like Danny Wilson, um, uh, Bruno Alves on a massive, massive wage, doing nothing, really. And you've got Danny Wilson who's quite in a low one. He wants a big, bigger, a bit closer to Bruno Alves' wage. Do you think he's right to do that? Or is he choosing, or is he making the same mistake as he done years ago? He's choosing money over playing for Rangers. That is the question. Again, I, I've got my own personal view, and that's sort of what Twitter is. That's my opinion. But in videos, I never like to try and push my opinion on it. So let me know what you're thinking. Do you think he's right to ask for the money? Or do you think he's been a money merchant and he doesn't deserve to play for Rangers? Because if you look at it, he's been injured quite a lot. He's inconsistent a lot the other previous seasons. He's had a good six months. And he really has had a good six months. But you just have to look at his overall term, what his contract's been. Um, is, it, is he putting that much effort in because contract negotiations were coming up? That's why he was trying so hard and playing so well. If he got that money, would he just fade away to back to last season's Danny Wilson where he was a joke and a meme? It's one of those things, lads. I'm very, very curious to know what he's thinking about that. But we have more opinion as it looks like he's moving to the MLS. He's in contract negotiation to go over there. Now, we might be getting a wee bit of money for him as well, which will be pretty tidy if we can do that. Or it might be a pre-contract. But I'm expecting him. Money, I don't think he will play him again. I think he, he, he will move. And it'll be something around about the maybe 100k, maybe 200k marker if we're able to get that. So, fire in below and tell me what you're thinking about Danny Wilson. Wilson! Do you ever just think to yourself, Craig... Do you do enough polls? Polls as in Twitter polls, not not that doesn't matter. Lastly, I'll say about Wilson. Do you think we will miss him the second half of the season? I've put yes. Being our best centre back or no, Martin is better. Now it's got 289 votes again because I kind of buried it under the other one. Um, no, Martin is better. Won 60%, but 40% of the vote was also yes. Being our best centre back. I want to read out a couple of the comments here because I'm quite interested to this. Peter uh, Ramsey says, "I wish Wilson, <laughs> Welsh Wilson." Da ye, da ye, Craig. I wish Wilson. <laughs> I wish. Fuck off. I wish Wilson well for his future in America. He's been a good servant for Rangers. That's tidy, mate. Well done. Shout out to him, my NFL brother. Rangers Forever, aka the Channel Miff, says he was excellent during December, but only. But anyone who acts like that, like a money grabbing bastard, can F off. Why would I say bastard, but I didn't say F off? Who knows? Questions, answers. Andrew Wilson says, I said yes, this has been one of our unlikely people to be one of our best players this season. Plus, Martin is in his first game, almost scored an OG, but Martin improved as the game went on and it seems as though he he thinks he's a great player uh, when he's just a good player. I think he means Danny Wilson with that situation. And TP at DJ on <laughs> I love that. Uh, got it if he goes, but don't fancy banking on a lone player to stay if we don't make Europe. We need a centre-back that wants to play for the badge with ambition and pride in his career. And now I've actually fired in another little Twitter poll underneath that. I've got 225 votes as well, saying he's a wee money merchant. That's Again, that's me. We'll edit that out. Um, but did, he, did his performances this season earn him that bumper pay rise? This one was a lot closer. Um, no got 56% of the votes and yes to a bumper pay rise was 44%. And that is the Danny Wilson situation. Again, very curious to know what you're thinking down freaking below. Bang! And before we move to the third and kind of final ridiculous story of today, I'm actually going to be doing a little sponsor break. So grab your refreshments, do whatever you have that's nearby you. You're ready? Three, two, one. Sponsor break! <laughs> Right, the Morella situation, again, if you didn't watch today's, uh, yesterday's video where Snags kind of expressed that a lot better than I will do, let's just talk about it because I think it's ridiculous. I've seen some, to be fair, I've only seen like some flutterings of it, but I'll read it out anyway. And if you don't know the whole backstory, I'm going to quickly tell you now, Morelos has had an interview, uh, or a TV interview, back in Colombia, where he was speaking about where he wants to play next season, blah, 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 where he sees himself moving forward. Now, remember, this is getting translated in English, so it could be a slight translation thing, and that's why I think it personalised, but I'm going to read the quote, and I want your opinion on it, so get ready to type your opinion. Morelos has told his TV in his homeland, if you do things right, there's always someone watching. I don't know what will happen. I hope to keep play, doing very well and look for a bigger club uh, in the Premier League at the end of the season. Now, that's his official quote. 
Um, and I want your genuine opinion on that before I give you mine. So I'll give you a couple of seconds. Five, four, three, un, do, trois, whatever. Um, my personal opinion on it is I think it's been a loose transition. Transition, Craig? You mean translation? And like what Snags was saying, people have dreams and ambitions to go and play, play in the Premier League. That's a great mindset. If he believes in himself that he can go and do that, tremendous. I think the whole bigger club thing, which a lot of people on Twitter have had a problem with, I think it just means a, a better league, a bigger and better league. I think that's what it means. I don't think it necessarily means a bigger club, so I wouldn't take that to heart. I know a lot of people get offended very easily and stuff like that. But as someone who has been misquoted quite a bit and not explained herself quite fully, and that some, somehow, somehow follows me around... Um, I kind of understand what's going on there. It's kind of a wee bit of a miscommunication, uh, or maybe he's not explaining himself fully. Listen, I do it all the time, all right? 95% of my videos is awful. Aye, we know, mate. Um, I didn't explain myself. So I think that's what it is. I wouldn't take it to heart. He's obviously, he's here. He's trying his best. And he also goes on to say in an interview that he loves playing for Glasgow Rangers. So don't worry about that. I don't think he's planning on forcing a move or anything like that. If somebody wants to come in with 10 million, I'll accept it. Because he misses four chances a game. <laughs> Get up, you snacks. Okay. Um, that's basically the Rangers round up today. Hopefully you did enjoy the video and got involved. And yeah, let's get to 12k. We're almost there. I think we're 40 away. So yeah, let's smash 12k today. That's the challenge. Do you accept? I've been Siege and Over 92. That has been Andy Halliday. Thanks for watching and bye bye.